welcome back to another episode of Ryan M Outdoors. I'm here at my house and I got a big landscaping project coming up. I love to do landscaping and I got a bunch of rainbow cobble rock coming to the house here any minute. A truck is going to deliver it and uh, it's raining outside so that's fun. But yeah, uh, the truck is coming and this driveway right here is empty right now, but it's about to have a bunch of rock. And uh, I got a sample of rock from this place uh, a few days ago to see if that's the kind that we want. So I'm gonna grab three samples. One of them is gonna be the two to four inch rainbow cobble. So I'm gonna grab a bucket of that and I'm gonna grab a bucket of sparkling granite, which is three to four inch. And I'm gonna grab a bucket of Merrimack, uh, which is kind of an orange color to it. And uh, this is three to four to one and a half inch. And uh, we're gonna take these three samples and. See how they look against the house. If you ever want to stop by Mid-Nebraska Aggregate uh, and they're closed, you can always come by here out in front of their building and uh, check out all the rock samples that they have. Uh, there's different kinds here, um, anywhere from small to large and all shapes and sizes and different colors. So uh, yeah, you can definitely check out those samples and uh, then see what you want and give them a call. and. Uh, let them know what you want to order and they can even uh, do delivery for you too. So um, yeah, be sure to check out Mid Nebraska Aggregate and I'll leave their website uh, in the description below. I'll show you here. This is the rock here, uh, rainbow cobble, two to four inch. And this whole flower bed is about to get a bunch of rock all the way across it. I already got tarped off. Got the plants planted where we want them, and uh, yeah, it should look pretty awesome. So I can't wait. I've always wanted to have a uh, river rock. This is gonna be a special kind of rock, but I've always wanted to have rock bed, and uh, putting this tarp down is low maintenance, so uh, I don't have to worry about digging out the weeds. So I'm, I'm excited about that. But this is just one of the flower beds that I have going on. Uh, so that'll be covered with rock. And the other flower bed, Try to stay out of the rain here, but the other flower bed is right here, right along here. Check it out. All right, the rock has been dumped. Uh, looks like I got some work to do. So there's the rainbow cobble, in case you're ever interested in landscaping rock. This is some pretty nice stuff. And uh, yeah, I gotta put all that pile right there into that garden bed and into this garden bed and on around the garage. So let's get to work.
man, these these rocks are pretty cool. They're all unique, different color variety. I could actually probably stare at this pile all day long. It's kind of like watching a fire. There's always something different in the fire as it's going on. And these rocks, there's always something different uh, looking at it. So it's really cool and really excited to have this in the fire bed. This is a really neat rock. Blue grayish color, some speckle on it. There's a lot of really cool variety of rocks in here. <laughs> and shapes and sizes. I mean, just the fact that this comes out of a river is pretty awesome. Here's a triangular piece. I mean, you go on and on all day long, finding out fun, nice pieces. This is a red one here. It's kind of cool. Uh, I found this one to be neat. Uh, it's kind of got a, a 3D box shape to it and it's got some granite on there, which is kind of cool. Uh, we got rainbow cobble, which is two to four inch. Uh, most of this is two to four inch, but there's some that's maybe a little bit smaller than two inches. And uh, there's some that's probably, I don't know, five to six inches too. There's quite a variety in here, which makes this a really unique uh, combination of rock to get. And it fills up a lot of space too. Here's a cool looking one. It's got some, it's gray with marble shape, uh, marble design to it. That's pretty neat too. Every time I dump the rock, I just kind of spread it out. So that way I kind of know what spots I still need coverage on. All right, so, so far a shovel is not really working the best. So just basically picking up the rock by hand, putting it in the wheelbarrow, and taking it over and dumping it in the, in the bed. But the rock is just a little bit too big and too heavy for, for the shovel to really work uh, as efficiently as we need it. So it's the hands is what we're doing. dumped out my pile of rock and now I'm going to smooth it out a little bit kind of see what areas I still need to pour some more piles. Okay now that I have my pile poured of rock what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of Smooth it out here along the landscape. Kind of as a one inch layer. And then this way, I know uh, what areas I still need to bring another wheelbarrow pile to. So that's kind of the best te technique that I found uh, to laying out this rock. So now that I know that this is about as much as that covered, uh, I know this will probably be the next spot here that I'll uh, bring the wheelbarrow to. So that's kind of uh, what I'm starting to figure out. So far we're about 
I don't know, I'd say probably 70% done with this flower bed. Uh, it's going along pretty, pretty nicely so far. Oh, I feel like I'm taking a chunk out of the pile. <laughs> Probably didn't look like it, but I do feel like I am. Well, that'll do it for flower bed one of two. Thanks for tuning in, and if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. I really do appreciate you watching, and if you want to see more, subscribe, and flower bed number two will be coming your way. See you on the next one.